Hi, if you're getting this annoying pop-up on your Samsung Galaxy tablet device, uh, this is how we're going to delete this. So we'll click out of this annoying pop-up, you go to settings, general, scroll down, security, you go to device administration, and you see here it is locked in. You click it, you will not be able to deactivate it right there. Click out, there's a pop-up again, go back to security, scroll down, First thing you're going to do is click verify apps off and then click unknown sources on. Okay, yes. And you'll click out of this. The next thing you're going to do is go to the Play Store. You're going to download an app called Titanium Backup. It is a very reputable app with millions of downloads. You're going to click this one. All right. Install. Accept. All right. You're going to exit out of the Play Store. Right down backup is installed, now you're going to go to the internet. Now you're going to type in King takes my oh app Kingo app APK. Right click that. You're going to look for the kingoapp.com right here for Android. Click. Take you to this page. All right. Now you're going to click download for Android. All right. This is just an ad because you're not paying for it. So you got to make money somehow. Now you can see up at the top, if I scroll it down, Kingo app root APK download complete. You're going to click. It's going to ask you a bunch of questions. You're going to say yes. Basically you're giving it permission and the ability to get in and delete that bloatware. Install. going to open. It's going to take you to a new app. This is the Kingaroo app downloaded from the internet. One click Roo. Click that. Now you'll wait for the app to finish with your tablet device. Alright, Roo succeeded. Now you can close out of that. Now that your tablet is successfully rooted, you're going to go to Titanium Backup. Now the rooting will just allow for Titanium Backup to actually do its thing. So you're going to allow, it's requiring permission, you're going to get these installation requests, you're going to install it. You're going to click the little back button to get out of that just welcome message. Okay, just warning you that it is using an emulator to erase. Go to next. You're going to type in Nox up at the little search bar. Now this is the really satisfying part. That is a Knox customization that you weren't allowed to touch. 
We're going to click it. Click on install. It's going to say yes because there's no backup. Now Knox is uninstalled. Exit out. Go back to settings. Device administrator. Look, it's not there anymore. Now if you would like, even if you go to backup, factor reset DNA, or device, sorry. Delete all. successfully has erased all data and rebooted. Go back, all the apps have been deleted. And you can go back to settings to double check. Scroll down to security. Device administrator. It's not there anymore. That is how you successfully delete the Knox customization app off of your Samsung Galaxy 4.